So now I got to go in and say, hmm, the market is asking for it. It's not something that I want to do or something that I wanted to push on you guys and tell you, hey, guys, start doing this and that. No, I'm very agnostic. I do whatever it is that makes money. I joined the dark side and now I'm a Vue.js developer. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, this is your boy, Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again one more time. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, show me some love in the likes, Let's do something, okay? So yeah, man, um, for those of you guys that don't know, again, I've been doing this since 2011 as a developer, focusing mostly on the web. You know, for years, I've talked so much shit about Vue.js over the years, like it's crazy, right? But it's for a reason, okay? I never really got into Vue.js before. I always saw it as a copy of Angular and a copy of React. I can tell you now, in 2024, for me, I think the best framework to focus on is Vue.js. Now, for this to make sense to you guys and to understand like where I'm coming from, let's go back into history, right? Back in the days, there used to be frameworks like Backbone, Ember.js, you had things like Angular 1, and those were like the main frameworks that were the most popular and the ones that had the most jobs. Then came in React, this whole concept of components, and that basically took over. Around 2015, 2016, all the way to probably 2019, if you knew React, you damn near had a job guarantee because no one knew React. The guys that had 10 plus years doing development didn't know React. And the guys that were new developers that were learning React knew more than the OGs, okay? So that gave us an edge. By knowing React, you had more job opportunities, you have more opportunities to get into the industry just because you know this framework. And it's a great framework. I always liked React. I like the concept of uh, components and everything that React have brought into the tables. And yes, I used to love class-based components. But over the past few years, it has become obvious that, guess what? Everyone else is learning React. So what used to make you special, being a React developer, it's no longer a thing, okay? everyone knows react and everyone is following the same stack which is like mongodb or superbase with like react next.js drizzle or prisma etc everyone is doing the same thing if you look online all of the tutorials everything that pops up that is like hey how to build a software as a service in four hours how to learn javascript in eight hours this this and that everyone is doing the same stack so when you go into the field and you try to find a job, yes, there are a lot of jobs for React, more than Vue.js, to be honest with you, and more than Angular and most of the other ones that's out there, because this is what I do, right? This is what I focus on. This is what my main company does, codingphase.com. Train people into learning how to code, right? Helping them land positions. I'm constantly looking at the job market. I'm constantly looking at what's happening and I have to do research to be able to have the right data and to choose the right, you know, opportunities for my students and for people that's here on YouTube. Whenever I come in and I, I create a video, I have to do that research and my research has brought me to this. Okay. In the job market, whenever there's around 4,000 jobs for React, there's around 40 to 60,000 applicants. And so sometimes it's like, it's even more than that. So the ratio is a one to 10, one to 15, okay? Then from there, when you compare that to a Vue.js jobs, there's around 4,000 applicants. That's a one to four ratio. That's not bad, okay? This is how it used to be with React back in the days. And this will be like Angular, okay? We're basically going through the same cycle that we went through back in like 2014 to like 2017, around there. We're going through that cycle. Now Vue.js is where you might be able to stand out more than doing React, okay? And I do believe that Vue.js is going to start taking over the market over time, but that gives us an opportunity to really stand out as developers by having this skill. There's so many companies that they're choosing not to go and drink the 
react coolly the next year coolly get on that Vercel pipeline they're just not going for it and i give you a great example of this right we have a couple of companies in here for example you have companies like google who have pages that are done with ujs same thing with apple you got dribble bmw behance which is adobe you got louis vuitton okay yes louis vuitton is built with vue.js and they're using nux.js on their back end and then you got like indie hackers who are using vue.js and nux to also go in and build their applications shout out to danny posma right headshotspro.com that's his startup right he's running that company and making millions of dollars with this all right and it's all using Vue.js, okay? Which way should I go? Should I go to React way? Should I go to the Vue.js way? Shoot, should I just make applications with vanilla JavaScript, right? So me personally, I'm going to Vue.js way, okay? I'm not going to React way anymore because it seems like everything is getting more overly engineered, more complex for no reason. Also too, there's always new changes. Uh, the fact that now React is basically Next.js. Yes, you can go in and use React with something like Remix, or you could use it just as a plain single page application, maybe using V. You can go that route, but it seems like the the community it has been, you know, drinking that Vercel Kool-Aid, and like everyone is choosing to go with Next.js, and it's not something that I'm interested in. Okay, I'm just not interested in that. I'm more interested in a certain ecosystem. What is the ecosystem? Very simple. E-commerce, right? Shopify, WordPress, BigCommerce, Laravel, Django, okay? This is where the money is at, okay? All of those other routes, it just seems to me like if you want to go that route, it's more like, hey, I just want to work in corporate and that's it. For someone like myself, I like the simplicity of, of Vue.js, okay? I used to like the simplicity of, of React, but it just seems like now it's just getting more complex. I look at some, even some of the projects that's out there and going in there, I'm like, wait, hold on. Like people are using Clark, people using this, this and that. Like that's not something that I wanna even touch because it's no longer like you're building full stack applications. It's like you're using a bunch of services to try to make React into a full stack application in some type of way is like nah for that i have laravel right uh for that i have like even adonis js or just plain no js i could just use and yes i could continue using that um that way but it's just i feel like it's a better investment to go with Vue.js right now because of the user experience, right? The developer experience, I'm being able to build applications fairly quickly. If I wanted to go in and build something super simple on a theme or on a page, I could even just use a CDN, okay? I could just go in and use a pure CDN. I don't even have to use Vite. I don't have to use Webpack. I don't have to use nothing. It's just like plain JavaScript. It's closer to like the days of jquery than what you know you're doing now with like react okay so it's very simple and i'm enjoying it to be honest with you okay at first i was like eh, i don't know about this man the view man they got me on view now bro like <laughs> and that was my energy but i can tell you i'm really enjoying it i'm really really enjoying building applications with vue.js in the fact that i'm seeing all of this patterns, the same things that happen with Angular 1 and React, I'm seeing now with React and Vue.js, okay? Vue.js right now is a better uh, framework than React for, you know, small to medium-sized companies. And those are the companies that are actually hiring new developers. Those are the companies that are gonna go in and take a risk on your talent not the big big companies they got enough people that they could pick and choose who they want but guess what for me and the type of development that i do i enjoy vue.js and also too for me helping students get into their first job i'm seeing better results that way you know i've even seen people that have been following what we said here learning about shopify shopify themes right and i'm seeing people hitting me up like yeah joe when you drop in a vue.js course because they're asking me for vue.js and i just don't know anything about vue.js so now i gotta go in and say hmm 
the market is asking for it it's not something that i want to do or something that i wanted to push on you guys and tell you hey guys start doing this and that no i'm very agnostic i do whatever it is that makes money like straight up like if i gotta go and write pearl i'll do that if i gotta go and write c plus plus i'll do that but guess what right now the ecosystem is asking for Vue.js, and we gotta go with it okay if you want to make money and you want to stand out this is the wave all right again you don't have to agree with me let me know on the comment section show me some love show me some hate whatever it is um again understand i'm here to actually provide value not to get views i don't expect this video to get popular at all but again i'm here to give you guys the data that i have in my hands and that i've been looking at because this is what i do okay i'm constantly <laughs> searching for opportunities for new developers and finding those little you know little pockets that no one's really paying attention to and when i see an opportunity there i come back in and i'll tell you guys about it all right so yeah guys by the way anybody that's watching this don't forget man early black friday sale is happening right now take advantage if you've been wanting to learn to code you've been wanting to have a team behind you to help you get into the game again we're not here for views we're here to provide a service okay become a diamond member that will give you access to everything that we have on codingphase.com again it's 50 percent off take advantage okay eight thousand dollars worth of, of content right tech accelerator program 12 hours of group coaching right per month career paths curated jobs list interview questions list recommended portfolio templates unlimited portfolio reviews access to the private community and the fact that you have a team working for you to succeed it's not just me this is the face that you see okay we have other instructors that come in and help out on coding face we have people that we hire just to look for jobs for students that's their job to go in every single day on indeed on zip recruiter dice.com glass.com whenever you're busy there's a dude <laughs> half across the world that that's all he's doing looking for jobs for you reading through every description seeing if it matches the type of job that will hire an entry-level developer right or someone within the first two to three years of experience right which i will consider like a junior developer that's what we have there we have a team working for you to succeed no one else does this all they do is just come in give you a 20 dollars course and say good luck all right guys so yeah if you want to come in and take advantage of that sale this is the moment 50 percent off and again if you're gonna go to codingphase.com go check it out if not check out this video right here